What is up guys, it's boy Revan here today and this is going to be a round 2 of uh, this week's Friday Night Pokemon Tournament that we held every single week, every single Friday on Twitch. At 9am CT there are signups and at 10am we start uh, those rounds. So this is going to be a game, this is going to be a really amazing game, right? I'm playing Zash and ADP as you know, so this is my deck. But on the second, you know, on, on uh, like... On the second half, you know, on the second uh, second player is going to be a Rema72, a Prisma Godfather, one of the moderators on my channel and one of the, like, really one of my best friends here, one of the closest friends and also one of those people that I did play so many games that we kind of created this little nice friend rivalry that everyone, anyone wants to be the second person, you know, and wants to win those games. And Rema is going to come with a really interesting Turtonator deck, the deck that definitely, you know, caught me uh, off guard and definitely I had no idea what is going to happen next right that's a Tornado Cinderace actually and I had no idea what else he's gonna have what he might have in this in this, and he knows that in those best of three right the surprise factor is huge sometimes not as big uh, as in the best of one but it still works quite well so this is gonna be the round number two I hope you're gonna enjoy that round number two if you like what we're doing here don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos and again every single Friday join that beautiful tournament and next week uh, we're gonna also do some Wednesday Night Pokey Fight, which is VGC tournament, and it's gonna be amazing because this week we didn't done that at all. So let's move on to the round number two, an amazing round number two uh, from the live stream. And well, see ya guys. It's the round number two. I say it's the round number two. This is the matchup that we all wanted to see. This is the matchup that we all wanted to be in. It's Rama versus Raven. Holy moly, the matchup, the rivalry. The rivalry that goes way back, way, way, way back. And I think Rama is playing a fight type deck. And the reason of this dark deck was to complete the challenge. That's one of my yeah. That's why you know uh, I'm glad that you said I didn't you know because I credited you in the video. I uh, I said that, but I didn't done that in 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 in, uh, in description. So yeah, that mistake was 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 was. Uh, Change, yeah, like, ah, uh, I knew he was gonna go with fire type. Oh, Rema, we have a fire type over here. Okay, Microbike. Into that name. Okay, Acrobike. Research Wisdom Sword. Okay, so at least I knew I'm gonna have that one, so it's it's cool. Yeah, I mean yeah, like no, um Yeah yeah, because I mean if I forget about something like that, let me just remind me and I'm gonna try to 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 to, to repair that mistake, so don't worry about it really. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, I mean, if they're online, because you know, I know like, you can't sanction it, just go with it. As long as you're not, you know, charging anyone for those tournaments, because I've seen people, you know, charging others for tournaments online, like in my country, which is annoying. Then, I mean, you know, we can all have like different approach towards towards a uh, competitive, right? So, custom catchers. I have the Dene, Mill Saucer. Okay, it's not that bad. So, I mean, I know. First things first. This is a great, you know, idea of a deck. I mean, I have. What do you even do? Hmm. All right. Uh, so that's gonna be my assumption that you know you're gonna try to use Heatran. So I have to go and knock out Heatran. Mm. 
Marnie on top of that. Okay, Mel Frank pan. And a knockout. There we go. I mean, I'm not that scared due to Mel Frank pan. Give some credit, uh, and I dropped um, random codes. Okay, yeah, all right. So th that I can understand. Yeah, because I've seen certain stores like charging five bucks, literally, and uh, just to maybe win a code. And it's like, no, 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 no. So it did kind of, you know, <laughs> not gonna lie, annoyed me when I saw that. Okay, Primate Wisdom. And it's it because you don't really get anything. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, this is this is exactly what I'm saying, right? You, you, you know, it's silly for charging people to play online tournament. It's like, it's not sanctioned. It's not, you know... You it's like, dude, come on. Mm. Okay, Brave Blade. Yes, yeah, so I feel like you know just getting that heat run early on and Rema not hitting Welder is <laughs> doing conference call while playing Pizza Joe. Check. I mean and thanks to this moment, you know you made the right decisions in your life. So you can do both. <laughs> okay, we got a welder. Yep, that is a Turtonator. That is correct, Max Gentleman. And Cinderace as well. With Libero. And Cramorant. Mm. Alter Creation. <laughs> du -du -dum -dum -dum. But I mean, we can laugh, you know, and, and I understand that, you know, stores may charge. Yeah, like, this is the this, scenario. This like, stores may charge, you know, for you for online tournaments, whatever. Because they might tell, like, hey, you know, we don't have players that come into a store, and we're only a card shop, so... We can't really, you know, uh, make money. But like ninety percent, like hundred percent of stores in Poland that have Magic the Gathering or like online things, uh, or like like card games, they do also sell miniature figures, all of that. So that's like their main income. Like card games are, you know, just an extra thing because stores make the most money out of pre-releases. So that's you know that's kind of like I. But it is what it is. But I've seen uh, Magic Gathering is doing like uh, FNMs right now online, and you get rewards in the store, which is cool. Uh, pop figures are not here. I can tell you with you know, with all my knowledge, not here. Like here, pop figures are not really taking over. Of course, in terms of, you know, stores. Like, literally, here... Um, like, my local game store, I'm gonna give as an example. Which is pain, because... Uh, yes, yeah, like, our uh, always had online website, right? In the Vimyar, uh, and they always had online website and online store. 
that if you wanted something, they will, you know, deliver it to you, which is fine. But you also, you know, could have been like, okay, I'm going to click on it and I'm, and I'm just going to come in and it's going to wait for me. And that's what they did. Right now, they're only doing online, which again, it's fair enough. But like 80% of the store is literally Warhammer, Warhammer 40k, uh, you know, all those miniature figure games, Dra Dungeons and Dragons, right? Like we've got, you know, um, they got their own YouTube channel, like which is huge, you know, in terms of, like D&D in Poland. Just in that store, so, you know, so... They at least were smart enough, there we go, uh, to not focus on like one thing only. So, you know, they're doing like everything, right? And, you know, again, they have a huge space for tournaments so they can host at the same time, you know, uh, Warhammer, Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, Pokemon, all of that stuff. So, let's go around my game number two. I told me uh, has symptoms on Wednesday, she said uh, they call Doc. It's gonna be fine, I'm telling you. Fingers crossed it's gonna be fine. I believe so. You know, uh, they do sell some books uh, in and from the lore of like D&D, Warhammer, all of that stuff. So, I mean, at least they're not relying only on on, uh, on card games. And if the store is not relying only on card games, but they also have 60-70% of, you know, like income from other things, then they shouldn't charge. If you, you know, if you're like mainly card store and like here in Europe you know you're in a lockdown you can't really send cards abroad um, like sending cards to customers IRL is also a bit limited right you know from 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 your country then I can you know okay it's there is a bit of justification for you for you know, for judging for online tournament but it's still I don't know And this might be, you know, this might be the draw for Emma. You see, I told you, Danish. She was waiting for Raven. She was, she was like, okay, I'm here. Come on, Raven, say something. I'm like, fingers crossed, bam. Just happened. I'm telling you. True story. Now I want my art for free because of that. I can pay an exposure. <laughs> I had to, uh, sorry, I apologize, but I had to, I had to say that. Because I love this quote so much, you have no idea when someone says that. I love it. <laughs> exactly. It's like the best thing ever. Hey Alice, hello, how are we doing today? Good morning. How are you feeling? Wait, one, two, uh, click, click. There we go. And uh, we are right now in the round number two, so it is a bit too late for the tournament. Unfortunately, Alice, we're right now in round number two. I'm playing an amazing player, Prisma. The Rema, the Godfather, the rivalry that goes... <sighs> I don't even know how long. But hey, next week, right, next week. Alright, uh, that will make you... <laughs> wow, team skull, that was brutal. That was brutal. It was not me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it was not me. Okay, we got rare candy. And now I'm in a really deep trouble right now, so... Like, I'm keeping Great Catcher just in case... of, I don't know, at this point. But I'm like in deep, deep trouble. Hmm. 
<laughs> yep. Hey gamer, for the tournament? Yeah, like hour and a half later for a tournament. We st we started already. <laughs> Alright, draft one and out, okay. So going to game number two. Yeah, the TCG tournament, yep. Because VGC is every Wednesday. Kiss place. Tamiki, do you want to share something? Um, what is a kiss play? For letting him uh, show off the art. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, like, exactly, dude, like, damage, um, where's my money? Because of money. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, you have to laugh. When you have a situation like that in front of you, right, when... You can either laugh or cry. So I'd rather cry and later, uh, laugh and later cry. Yeah, <laughs> kiss play. I mean, I'm like, right now I'm curious, what is a kiss play? Does it mean that you kiss and play Pokemon trading card game online at the same time? I want to know. I'm not gonna lie, I do want to know. To me, <laughs> all right. Game number three, Rama. Ah, uh, I go first. Uh, versus Seeker. No, 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 dude. Versus Seeker. Um, uh, you send the challenge to the wrong person. I'm not Tamiki. I'm Raven. Okay. Let's go. Already better draw. Perfect. We can do it. I believe. Rema, good luck. Have fun. It's a 1-1. One, one. You're in a luxurious... Uh, luxurious environment of the, of the PC. So let's make it happen. Okay. Acrobike. Acrobike. The view is just so good. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. Alright, so I know Absol is just gonna hopefully destroy your idea. Idea, like, idea. Like, what, what was that, Raven? I don't know. Hope you lose. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, team's gone fire today. Oh, I love those silly jokes. Do you? Yeah, like what? What was that? Like, 
Like my body wanted to burp or something, and, and they just said, yeah, it was weird. No, alright, group hug, group hug for, for damage, group hug. There we go. Okay, so this is the moment for me, I... This is not the moment for me, you know what, okay, I'm like 50-50... ...on what I can do. <laughs> I mean, I say, you know, I said I can go with like, you know, Mexican pesos or something. Alright, so what realm I can do? I mean, I might see Jirachi still, I wish. Okay. So I mean, I know how devastating Absol is for the Jirachi, and that's, you know, that's my goal. Just be devastating to that Jirachi. <laughs> oh, Spyro Grats, finally! Oh no, leave my Absol alone! No, <laughs> my poor Absol. <laughs> it's raining, but not man. <laughs> okay, so like you chained my hand. Quite drastically. Whoa, team's called good raid, a uh, good raid, a good, good, good uh, gamble. Okay, acrobike, quick ball. We're gonna go for Zacian or Zacian. Intrepid sword, I mean, there's nothing else I can do. Sometime uh, this month for animations. Ooh, nice! Nice, nice, nice! So, what's, what is uh, going to be your first animation? Do they have anything in particular in mind, or, you know, something, something different? So, it's a switch, what, okay. Yeah, so knock out on Absol. And we had a good life. There we go. <sighs> Acrobike. Ultimate ray and energy on Z Zashian. One, two, three, there we go. Gamble all. Wow. I like this devil on the shoulder, dude. 
It's like, do it. Like, literally, taking two prize cards instead of one, it's my only, like, chance of winning this matchup. Because Cinderace can hit hard. And I also lost Absol. There you go. And the first idea I have is giving some characters a simple walk cycle. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, Rum. Like, this is like a tough rivalry right here. Is Bud in great mood? Oh, yeah, I messed up the <laughs> I messed it up. Uh, it's like double L. There you go, it says y'all. Which from German is yes. There may be a voiceover, so one of my friends uh, do some voice acting, so yeah. Nice! So it's good to have a planet like one thing at a time, you know, to, 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 to not get sidetracked. Is Rama going to win? You'll have to wait. Yeah. Rama missed the Cinderace, and I, I think that is that is a game. Like Rama, I know missing Cinderace. I wish. GG. Tough one, Rama. That was a tough one. Good games. Good games, Rama. Good games. Subscribe to our YouTube channel.